This is Naina Curley of WAMDA Media. I'm here at the World Economic Forum with Sharbel Fakhouri, the uh, Vice President for the Middle East and Africa at Microsoft. Sharbel, how are you? I'm good. Excellent. So tell me, what's new at Microsoft lately in the region? This is exciting time for Microsoft and the region, especially that now, uh, as a company, a big focus is around how we're going to drive the, our devices and cloud services strategy. So if you look at the region here, uh, we have most of our uh, countries in Middle East and Africa have access to our uh, cloud services, be it Office 365 or Azure. At the same time, when you look at our devices with Windows 8, be it on the phones, be it on the tablets and on the PCs, there is a big ecosystem around it with apps and services. And so someone was talking to me recently about how R&D centers are absolutely crucial for the development of entrepreneurship ecosystems. Microsoft has opened an R&D center in Cairo. Can you speak to the impact of that center and um, whether that model can be scaled? Our um, research center in uh, Cairo is an extension of global uh, Microsoft research and development. However, I always uh, you know, believe that what we need to do is uh, really increase the culture and commitment to research and development uh, through this center and also through other local uh, centers, be it in universities or government-led. And if you look at uh, some countries like Turkey now, are trying to uh, bring their R&D up to 3% of their GDP, which is a big commitment. And that will thrive by supporting researchers in universities with the private sector and engaging Microsoft to really bring the knowledge of how do you leverage uh, R&D uh, in some of the industry trends to deliver value to the economy and to people. Is this a model that you think can be scaled throughout the region? Um, I don't think we can open a research center in every country. Uh, I think what we can contribute is bring our research and development capabilities to every country, to every university. That would be a scalable model. And, uh, that's what uh, we drive. Even before having our Cairo uh, Center, we were um, having outreach program by our researchers in Microsoft who work with academia mainly on some of uh, the technologies, be it security, be it search, be it Arabic for the region, that we are engaging with some uh, local countries, but it was more on collaboration purpose. What are the major ways that Microsoft is helping startups today? aside from this R&D center? Um, one of the things of our, it's a global program, part of our uh, Youth Spark program. BizSpark, it's about how do we help startups start. And under the BizSpark, you get access to our platform for free, be it on the on-premise or be it on cloud. So you can use the cloud services, let's say to develop a, an app on Windows Azure or SQL Azure without having to pay, which is, could be like a $60,000 of saving if you had to pay for it in the year one. Uh, we support them on the platform, we support them on uh, technical support, so they have a call center where they can call for help, and also we have support them on the sales and marketing so that their solution gets to have some uh, reach in our, through our channels. By the end of two years, we hope that the company graduates out of our BizPark program. And then they can then become like uh, any other successful uh, commercial company. 